AJ? Good afternoon. Please rise and remove your caps for the national uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance. Excuse me. Graduates do not need to remove their caps, but tassels should be on the right on your right side. The flag is off to my left or your right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner wave or the land of the friends Congratulations, class of 2021. Good evening. Thank you very much for making it here. I was telling somebody, anytime you have a chance to get a diploma, you never delay it. So we appreciate you being here with us, letting them get through this and letting them get to uh, become high school graduates this evening. Thank you to A.J. Webster and David for helping us uh, kick off today's ceremony. And just a few nuts and bolts before we begin. Uh, we do have a medical tent uh, over by the atrium. Uh, it's the red tent over there. Uh, if anybody needs assistance, just let us know and we'll be able to uh, get to you and help. Bathrooms are located uh, by the concession stand, in the concession stand under the, uh, the blue roof there. We have the PTSA who has put up the step and repeats on either side of the parking lot. And I assure you, the uh, weather will be beautiful for pictures in about 20 minutes. Um, this event is being live streamed, so anybody at home that didn't know already, please just let them know they can find the live stream on the Byram Hills High School homepage. And then also, last night's graduation tribute video has been posted there for anyone who would like to share it or watch it again and to see Olivia and Mia's uh, speeches and addresses again because they were so awesome. Great job. The class of 21 is the 54th class to graduate from Byram Hills High School. And the success of our uh, district and our school would not really be possible without the contributions and professionalism of our dedicated faculty, staff, administrators, and the Board of Education. And I'd like to recognize one of them who is here this evening. And for the last 16 years, Mr. John Lopez has been an integral part of our school community. 
From the classroom to the hallways and onto the stage, he has left his mark on Byram Hills, and he has had a tremendous impact on so many students. He is retiring next week, and I am sure we will see him on Broadway very soon. John, on behalf of the community, I want to extend my sincere thanks and gratitude for all you have done to make us a better place. And if you didn't know, he happens to be up there in the press box. So let's give him a round of applause. Uh, a community member, Mike Sanders, he has been a part of the Board of Education since 2015. And although he is not able to join us this evening, I want to thank him for his years of service to the Board of Ed and his outstanding support of our students uh, in this district. Thank you, Mr. Sanders. Good luck in your future endeavors. I want to thank the BHEF who provided the senior signs that you saw along Trip Lane as you arrived. Uh, graduates or parents should take the sign at the end of the event, and you can take it home with you. I want to thank the PTSA and Liz Kaplan for the decorations they provided here today. Um, both organizations have done such a tremendous job preparing uh, our students and our seniors over the last week and a half for this final culminating ceremony. I also wanted to give a shout out to our senior class advisor, Ms. Julie Rents, for all she has done to create these special memories for our graduates. And then finally, I want to thank the custodial, screw, uh, custodial crew and our secretaries for setting up the turf this evening and making it possible to hold this event. So thank you for being here to share this uh, important milestone for our graduating seniors. Rain on a wedding day is considered good luck. Rain on a graduation is even better because it's not just for two people. In our case, it's for 186. So luck abounds out here today. This event, with all of its formalities, signals that it's time for our graduates to move on to the next phase of their lives and academic journeys. Each aspect of the actual ceremony is meant to help our graduates take that next step. As I have said before, I'm gonna remember this class for their gratitude, perspective, and the joy that they bring to everything that they do. They're not a group who sweats the small stuff at all. They take nothing for granted, they appreciate the opportunities that come their way, and they find happiness in the simple things. They didn't ask for it, but they got a huge dose of perspective over the course of the last year and a half. Now, that perspective is life's umbrella. It might not have been something that you had asked for, but it has given you something to protect you through the rainy times in life. Today, we focus on what this ceremony means to all of you. It's an incredibly important rite of passage to go through the ceremonial aspects of graduating. Donning the cap and gown, imparts the idea that this is just not an ordinary ceremony, it's something special. Proceeding to your seats with pomp and circumstance allows you to understand the weight of what is about to happen. Dr. Lamia, presenting your class to the board president, Mr. Shulman, letting him and the community know that you are ready to be productive and responsible citizens of the 21st century. Our board president, Mr. Shulman, receives your class and gives the final approval for you to receive your diploma and give a from the community. You'll walk up to the stage, you're he you'll hear your name being called. You'll reach for your diploma, it's an act that you have to do. It won't be given to you. You'll move your tassel from the right side to the left and you're gathered with your class one last time on the bleachers to be introduced as the graduates of the class of 21. And I want you to enjoy these moments and celebrate all that you have accomplished. This turf, this school, this community are places that you can always call home. Congratulations and go Bobcats. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our graduating seniors. I was thinking of a few things today as I was watching the weather forecast, followed by an evening last night where we were looking at the radar to make sure the tornado wasn't going to blow down our festivities at SUNY Purchase. 
So what does a superintendent think about under such circumstances? Today I woke up and I thought about a lot of expressions like two out of three ain't bad, all those degrees and she still can't predict the weather, you're only as good as your last hit song, Jen Lamia, and that song is The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow. So I can tell you about decisions to do it today later. That is not the point, and there were resounding reasons why we chose to have you here tonight. But I have to say, we are together. The tornado passed us last night. Our students danced under the stars on Friday. And today, rain or shine, we are here to celebrate you. Welcome Byram Hills graduating class of 2021. And everyone gathered here to support you and celebrate you. A round of applause. I've said it before and you know I mean it. I am so honored to be here and address you as your superintendent on your school field of your school high school. I know nothing I say today is going to become a TikTok favorite. I definitely will not dance or sing again to make that happen, as amusing as it may have been. But I also know that you appreciate another day just for you. Seniors, today is about you and what we hope for you. When I was a kid and we used to have to get up to change this TV station to one of the seven channels available, that's really true, I used to watch a show called I Dream of Jeannie. Jeannie would twinkle her nose, bob her head, and make a wish happen. Parents may remember, right? Something like that. Seniors, tonight I wanted to share my wishes for you and your parents. Wishes that tra transcend anything this world might bring you, provided you invest in those wishes, and the returns, I assure you, are greater than any cryptocurrency. For our seniors, I wish you find yourself, like today, surrounded by people who care about you, who actually listen to understand you, and who care to grow with you. I wish you find your own voice, but more importantly, to seek where other voices come from. I wish you every opportunity to fulfill your passions. They will change, and to find your life's work and that it is intensely gratifying, as gratifying as it is for me to be your superintendent. Parents and guardians, I also have three wishes for you. I wish that your children always remember how much you love them and what you've done to make their lives beautiful. I wish that you see the values you instilled in your children carried forward to their adult lives and to their children. I wish that your child's love and respect surrounds you and that they remain emotionally close to you. Graduating seniors, take the time during these celebrations to think about how important you are to so many of us. Thank your parents, your educators, and each other for your journey. Rely on us at any time. And with my wishes for you come true, our graduating seniors will never face any challenge alone and will always be stronger afterward, just like you did in the past year and a half. Graduates, go forward. Find your own strength. Be your best self. The world is waiting for you, and we are always here standing behind you. Congratulations, graduates. And now, Iris Shulman, I am proud to present to you the class of 2021. Thank you, Jen. I was thinking this morning that the first time I attended a Byram Hills High School graduation was, hate to say it, 22 years ago and was right on this field, without the turf, of course. And I remembered how lovely it was, and I was sort of happy that it was going to be here again tonight, because I think there's something very special about having your graduation on your home turf. This year posed numerous challenges and opportunities. We began our journey deep in the pandemic, 
As I told you by video yesterday, you, the class of 2021, should be enormously proud of the way in which you surmounted the numerous obstacles that COVID-19 placed in your way. Seriously, you guys were champions and you did great. It would be a shortcoming on my part if I didn't take one minute to recognize the person who just spoke to you. Our Superintendent Jen Lamia did such a terrific job this year managing what many people consider to be unmanageable. She and the rest of her administrative team enabled the Byram Hills students, including your class, to enjoy the benefits of the Byram Hills education. Jen, we're proud of you. Congratulations. Also, while Byram, Byram Hills remains on a solid financial footing, we are only too cognizant of the toll that the past year's financial events have inflicted on many segments of the Byram Hills community. The annual support provided by your parents and friends is held by the Board of Education as a solemn trust, and we will continue to examine each program and expenditure to assure your tax dollars are prudently spent, consistent with delivering the quality education that is synonymous with Byram Hills. Today, the Board of Education bids a fond farewell to Mike Sanders, who has devoted countless hours in selfless, distinguished volunteer service to the school district. We return him to his family unharmed. One inevitable byproduct of any commencement is that the graduates must sit quietly and absorb tablespoons of unsolicited advice. Well, I offer you four. One. In this age of uncertainty and ambiguity, one point is in sharp focus and beyond debate. Life is not a spectator sport. Register to vote. Take time to become involved. Volunteer your time to your community or place of worship. Be a big sister or brother, mentor or tutor, school board member or athletics coach. And remember, you always get back far more than you give. Two. My younger brother, upon learning that his time was short, received constant reminders to live each day as if it was his last. He rejected that advice and chose to live each day as if it were his first, with the same awe and wonder that a newborn has as he or she opens his or her eyes to the world. Please, avoid cynicism and the temptation to be jaded. Take nothing for granted. Not the air you breathe, nor the freedoms you enjoy, nor the love of your parents, family, and friends. Three, I'm certain that for most, if not all of you, there is a classmate whom you have intentionally shunned because of an unkind remark or thoughtless gesture made against you any time during the past 13 years. I hereby declare that the statute of limitations and all such crimes and misdemeanors has expired. And I grant a full and absolute pardon to each of the transgressors. Be kind to each other. As you make your way through life, there will be many times when you will incur the despair that led a sailor to cry out, O oh God, thy sea is so great and my boat is so small. During those difficult hours, let the friendships you have forged at Byram Hills see you through. Four, class of 2021, take one long last look around you. Today is the last day you will all be together, ever. The laws that tethered you to the school district no longer bind. Yet we, who are older than you, can state with reasonable certainty that this boring, quiet town you are so eager to flee Maybe the place where you aspire to raise your families and get on with your lives. Should that come to pass, we'll be here to welcome you home. So, years after that September morning in 2007 when you entered kindergarten, it comes to this. I stand before you as the last impediment before the inevitable diploma ceremony. With a bittersweet smile, we know that it's time for you to move on. You have brains in your head, and you have shoes on your feet. And on behalf of your Board of Education, 
I congratulate each of you and your families. Good luck to you all. If the first row could stand up. Ryan Benjamin Abadamarco. <laughs> Daniel Patrick Ahern. Caroline Bailey Albright. Lauren Aline Amico. Achel Singh Anand. Amanda Lauren Anikstein. Michael Anthony Ascanio. Ryland Bajarektari. Ileana Sophia Baccaro. Brooke Rose Benz. Zachary Noah Berger. Jonah Maxwell Bergman. Nathaniel Wolf Bergman. Maxwell James Berman. Jordan Bernard. Zachary Brian Binder. Luke Briady. Connor Allen Broadback. Jack Gabriel Brook. Liam Cheslav Bruskowitz. Craig Joseph Bonanno. Tolula Ray Kanan. Marley Robbins Cantor. Olivia Grace Cantor. Peter James Capua. Patrick John Carcano. Austin Jax Carlin. Julian Joseph Carnavale.
Daniel Kassler. Lily Claire Seisler. Joseph Philip Cipriano. Aiden Miller Cogan. Alexa Haley Cohen. Sam Ian Cohen. Sorry, Michelle Cohen. Mariana Colabello. Luca Canigliero. Gabriella Jolie Coronel. Jacqueline Marie Correa. Luke Coviello. Caduce Daniel. John A. Giovanzo. Ryan, uh, Ryan Alexa Danny. Alexander Xavier Deck. Lily J. Deitzelweig. Matthew Anthony DeLuca. Christian Anthony DiVincenzo. <laughs> Kenneth Arthur Dinkle. <laughs> Talia Dinstein. Lorraine Mary DeSano. <laughs> Mia Nicole Dietrich. <laughs> Sydney May Dooley. Kristen Eichelbeck. <laughs> Madison Endico. <laughs> Dylan Lee Ertel. Megan Nicolette Falto. Trevor Thomas Furman. Calvin Taylor Fontaine. Daniel Michael Fontana. (laughs) 
Haley Francis. Stephen James Franco. Hayden Elijah Fruling. Gabriella Brianna Gentile. Rachel Morgan Getru. Nicholas Gellarducci. Alexia Victoria, Victoria Giordano. David Adam Gold. Andrea Sherry Goldberg. Skylar Golden. Bailey Isaac Goldstein. Justin Gordon. Olivia Marie Grande. Dylan Rachel Green. <laughs> Ali Chavez. Alexander Nelson Hansberg. Calden Harp. Haley Alyssa Harris. Reese Emmett Healy. Alexa Nicole Hershaft. Jared Holden Alon. Kira Jacovados. Madison Althea Jacquebec. Alexander Paul Jankovic. Alexa Rose Jindal. Cyril A. Juice. Alexa Aaron Justman.
Christian Callian. Raquel Isabella Canner. Brady Michael Carp. Brett Tyler Kaufman. Palvasha Khan. Luca Gino Kingston. Anika Kumar. Jack Charles Leary. Gabriel Lee. Megan Lee. Samantha Lee Leff. Paul Samuel Lest. Rena Lieberman. Catherine Lynn. Brian Benjamin Lipton. Thomas Lombardo. Melissa Nineth Lopez Martinez. Sam Wyatt Lubcher. Trey Marley Lukau. Elizabeth Manowitz. Tyler Luke Marcus. Alex Page Marvin. Ryan Marianek. Blake Kylie Massoni. Dominic Salvatore Miano. Jolie Allen Miller. Josh David Miller. Lola Sophia Minatillo. Noam Malloy. Jennifer Allison Moy. (laughs) 
Kayla Rose Mulvaney Cherico. Diego Naranjo. Griffin C. Nenner. Logan Xavier Nieves. Lindsay Taylor Noel. Leon Gerard Orlov Sullivan. John Mario Pantusa. David Gomez Pereira. Catherine Petluck. Olivia Rose Pika. Elena Sophia Pisek. Zachary Michael Pisek. Jonathan Popo. Andrew Richard Priori. William Christopher Quinn. Matthew Benjamin Quintieri. Nicole Ramirez. Eli Ratson. <laughs> Gabrielle Brooke Ripka. <laughs> Melissa Rivera. <laughs> Oliver Thomas Rivera. Angel David Roca. Chloe Sophia Rocco. Ryan Rosenblatt. Chloe Sampere. Olivia Marie Scaglione. Marley Schneider. Tessa Sophia Schwartz. William M. Scafaris. James Joseph Seiferheld. Peter Anthony Severino. James Robert Seymour. Benjamin Robert Safara. Ariel Hannah Scheinberg. Jordan Abigail Siegel.
Harry James Siegel. Skylar Claire Silverstein. Alyssa Singer. Mateo John Sinon. Drew Siskin. Leah Beth Sokol. Mia Grace Spadafino. Carly Rose Sperber. Andrew Nathan Sporn. Benjamin Allen Stanzioni. Hannah Gabrielle Stern. Griffin Storick. Sophie May Stumacher. Eli Alexander Suchman. Emma Francis Sullivan. Jade Brooke Simpson Swiss. Jake Ross Teitelbaum. Ellie Paraskivas the Donny. Jack Tillinger. Sasha Anderson Travers. Emma Lynn Trombone. Luca Vito Trotta. Alexa Rose Tusiani. Caitlin Ucker. <laughs> Michael Thomas Varsams. Nick Varsams. Anthony Joseph Webster. Matthew Harris Weiler. Nicholas Verzello. Benjamin Miles Weinhoff. Chloe Bella Weissman. Anastasia Sylvia Welly. Emma Lindsay Zanoff. Allison Isabel Zhang. Andrew Zimmerman.
Members of the class of 21, please move your tassels from the right side to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce the graduates of the class of 2021.